Well, the story of the ukulele actually begins on the Portuguese island of Madeira. Madeira is located in the Atlantic Ocean, about 800 miles off the coast of Africa. And in Madeira, they played an instrument called the machete. The machete looks a whole lot like an ukulele. Starting in the late uh, 1870s, groups of people from Madeira were brought to Hawaii to work in the sugarcane plantations. It was a long, long journey, and that first voyage took about four months. And when that first ship docked, they were so happy to be finally on solid land that a young man took his machete and he went out on the docks and he sang and he played. The Hawaiians were amazed. They had never seen an instrument like this and they took to it right away. They called it the ukulele because of the very quick way that the player's hands would move. The king, Kalakaua, encouraged Hawaiians to play the ukulele and to dance their dances. The Hawaiians started playing in North America right around the turn of the 20th century, and they played all over the country. Every place that you could get a stage, there were Hawaiian musicians and dancers. Soon, the instrument became extremely popular, particularly with college-age kids. They called them the flappers, and the ukulele was heard everywhere. And people started writing all kinds of crazy songs for the ukulele. Some of them were kind of interesting. Well, hope you enjoyed this look at the uh, history of the uke <laughs> and the uke craze of the 1920s. It's 100 years ago.